The Jaguars are letting Alan Robinson hit NFL free agency. The top unrestricted free agent wide receiver in 2018 will remain that way after Jacksonville decided not to use the franchise tag on him before Tuesday's 4 p.m. deadline. Robinson would have made $16 million guaranteed in 2018 had he been tagged and then signed, but the Jaguars have deemed the price to be too rich for a player coming off a 2017 season wiped out by a torn ACL in his left knee he suffered in Week 1. The surprise availability of Robinson on the open market should please several other teams that would love to lock him up for the long term. Robinson, 6 foot 3, 211 pounds, is only 24 and before shaky could be playing the injury stunted his production the past two seasons, he looked every bit the part of a dominant no. One receiver 80 catches, 1,400 yards, 14 TDs, in a Pro Bowl worthy 2015. When healthy, Robinson has proved he can be both an explosive field stretcher and a tough red zone target. That's enough to make any wide-out needy team with enough money under the NFL salary cap to strongly pursue his services. Some make more sense than others though and if he's not a late re-sign by the Jaguars bet on Robinson playing for one of these teams in 2018. NFL free agency, best WRs available, top 25 players Chicago Bears no team in the league had less legitimate wide receiver play than the Bears last season. Here's a chance to get Michel Trubisky the no. When he needs in year two, a la what the Eagles did with Carson Wentz and former Bears top wideout Alshon Jeffrey. Robinson can do everything Chicago wants in Matt Nagy and Mark Helfrick's passing game. Cameron Meredith, also coming off a torn ACL, is a restricted free agent. Kevin White, the 2015 first rounder, can't be counted on to stay healthy and contribute. Kendall Wright and Dottrell Inman, makeshift producers from 2017, are unsigned. Robinson is a very nice way to clean up the jumble. Washington Redskins' Alex Smith also joins Nagy in moving on from Kansas City, but Washington would be wasting its big veteran investment in Kirk Cousins' older replacement if it doesn't get him a go-to guy outside. Robinson's size and speed are perfect for Smith to trust on both short and deep roots and mixes attributes of his two favorite Kansas City targets, Travis Kelce and Tyreek Hill. Robinson has been immersed in the West Coast offense during his time with the Jaguars and would have a smooth transition into Jay Gruden and Matt Kavanaugh's scheme. Robinson represents a welcome redo and a much better signing as a no. One than Terrell Pryor Sr. was last year. More, Redskins need to spend big on offense Indianapolis Colts The Colts gave wide receiver T.Y. Hilton a monster contract three off-seasons ago and sure-handed tight end Jack Doyle was rewarded with a long-term deal last March, but they don't have much else in the passing game to welcome back Andrew Luck in the right way, and disappointing Dante Moncrief is a free agent. Coming over from the Eagles, new head coach Frank Reich knows firsthand what a difference Jeffrey made for an entire offense. The thought of a healthy luck throwing to both Robinson and Hilton downfield is downright scary. Beating the Bears and Redskins for Robinson would be a terrific coup for the Colts. Tennessee Titans The Titans are turning to a West Coast-style offense under new offensive coordinator Matt Lafleur, formerly of the Rams. The Titans did use a first-round pick on Corey Davis last year and have Richard Matthews under contract for one more year but Marcus Mariota still needs more young pop around him. As Tennessee goes from exotic smash mouth to a more downfield pass-friendly scheme, Robinson and Davis can be dynamic working the field together and help Mariota take the next big leap. Looking at the impact Robert Woods, Sammy Watkins and Cooper Cup had on Jared Goff under Lafleur in Los Angeles is evidence enough to make the move.